You know, I've had a good handful of what I would call close calls in life. Now, they don't happen as frequently as they used to. My age, marriage, and my children, eh, they've tended to mail me out some. And I think I'm smarter. However, I still find myself in sticky situations from time to time. I guess one never truly outgrows the need for excitement, even if they don't really know what they're getting into. After hitting 11,330 foot peak, Woo! made it. There was a section of rock that I needed to down climb. Having already been up that section, I knew it wasn't that bad of a climb. Picking what I thought was a spot I had ascended. Back in the saddle. Now he's gonna head back down, hit the boulder field there, and uh, it's another step in getting closer to base camp. The down climb began. It was steep at first, but surely I would arrive to the familiar terrain where I could traverse the rest of the way down the cliff face in relative safety. Before I realized my predicament, I was committed. Loose rock, shaky handholds, and uncertain footholds littered the climb. I was very aware that every handhold, every foothold had to be taken with great care and precision. Boom. After all, 80% of accidents occur on the way down. You've reached your goal, it's been accomplished, energy has been spent, and the mind has a tendency to relax, thus resulting in that 80%. I counter this phenomenon by being aware of the existence, and quite literally talking to myself out loud to keep my concentration. While the climb was heart racing and exhilarating, I was making good progress in controlling the descent. One handhold, one foothold at a time. Then it happened. Approximately halfway down, I put my full body weight on a large boulder I thought secure. Well, the boulder did not give right away, but the movement was enough indication that it wouldn't remain in that same location it had previously for possibly hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. However, the commitment was made and there was nothing I could do to change the situation as I saw it unfolding. The boulder gave way. As the boulder gave way, I turned my body from left to right while looking down at a long, jagged, gravity-filled drop. I saw another boulder sticking out of the cliff face. Not much different than the one that just gave way. With no choice, a lot of faith, and what seemed like eternity that only lasted one second, I came into contact with the second boulder. While it was very similar to the boulder that had almost caused my demise, it was very different solid, secure. As I listened and watched the first boulder cascade down the mountainside, bringing with it many other rocks, I was just pleased I wasn't one of them. <laughs>